Well, um, continuation of a saga at this place. Um, we've just gone to pay our bills. First of all, they told us there was no internet, so we couldn't pay by card. So we'd have to pay by cash. Um, so we said we can do bank transfer. Couldn't do bank transfer. Um, he would take us down to get some cash at the cash point. Well, we're running short for time, so we didn't do that. And now, um, all of a sudden, cash points, card machine's working again. Went over and paid by card, and it was 9.01. So um, we come down, then Joe went over to pay ours, and then he was trying to save up. We had paid Joe's, and we had to pay more. So we went over and, and started questioning it again, and um, eventually um, he's agreed 100 extra on, on top, um, which is really dodgy. Um, we think there might be some cream in off, I don't know, I, don't know, I really don't know what's going on here. Um, what I will say is we certainly won't be coming back to this place. Um, and if you will come in, make sure you know absolutely what you're doing, right? Because this is really, really like the worst experience of paying and being overcharged we've had ever. <coughs> Probably in um, our 24, 25 years experience of coming to Bali in this area, you know, Bali, Indonesia. Um, yeah, so uh, just be aware. Right? We're marking the and this is our adventures. There we are, we're at the harbour and the scoop boat has just arrived. So we'll be heading off to Gilear very soon. A fair few people getting off. There will not be very many people here going back home. So hopefully it's not going to be too busy. And it's looking pretty flat out there again. Fingers crossed we're going to have a good crossing. So we're on the boat, really nice and orderly, and um, everybody got on in line, there was no rush. Uh, sat right at the front, and uh, that seat just looks beautiful, doesn't it? And as an added bonus, they're handing out free water as well on the boat, scoop. And didn't do it from the um, Bali to Labongan, but from Labongan to Gilier, or Labongan onwards, they're giving out a bottle of water. I think that's you know, quite a nice little touch. So as most of you probably know, this is Gilly Tea we're coming into now. 
we're not getting off here, we're going on to Gilead. Yeah. That's hot, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I've got to keep moving. <laughs> got to keep moving. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> oh. Well, we're here. We're on Gilead. And the sun's out. The water's blue. We have an in and out place this time. Island pack, yeah? Hey. Okay. Entry for the island, yeah, the island pack, yeah, 10,000 yeah. Oh, when did that start? Ah, I'm so sorry, yeah. When did that start then? Ah. Oil and hey. tax. <laughs> 10,000. Yeah, the... <laughs> for, for three? Three. Yeah. When did that start then? Yeah, uh, one, one year, yeah. For what's it? One year, yeah. okay. There you go, so now you've got to pay an oil and tax as well on Gilier. Probably the same on tea as well on Mina, I don't know. You'll have to let me know that. I don't know if we'll be going to tea, so if I do, we'll let you know. Um, right, we're going to get some transport now. Uh. What we're going to do is uh, just wander over here. This is standard sort of transport. All right, so I can... Yeah. Well, we turned up at where we were meant to be staying. Dinga bungalows. I don't even know if I managed to get any video because it was so terrible. The air conditioning wasn't working. And so me and V decided we're gonna have a wander around and see if we can find somewhere else. Well, this is where we're staying. Puri Air Gilly Resort. And this is what we're staying in. Come and have a look. Now, I always talk about electrical points. There's two there straight away I can see. Nice desk side table, a little reading lamp. It's mosquito net. We also have a fan as well as air conditioning. Over here we have a nice little wardrobe unit, a desk, fridge. 
There's also two more electrical sockets over here. This is really important. Electrical sockets are so important. And there's another two electrical sockets over here with a nice little desk as well. Um, there's only the one lamp. It looks like one's broken. It's a shame. Um, nice size bed. That is a real nice size bed. And as we come through here into the bathroom, and some of strimming. Oh, we got a little little tea and coffee facility here. Little kitchen. And as we come round, nice little sink unit. Big mirror. Outside shower. And toilet. It's all very clean. Yeah, really pleased with it. We um turned up and negotiated the price and we got them 450,000 rupiah including breakfast. So we're very happy with that. So I think that is far nicer than where we were staying. And sadly, I don't think I took any video of it. We were so disillusioned when we saw it. We thought, nope, that's it, moving straight away. So this is the grounds. Come over here and we'll have a look at the pool. There's the pool. Look at the tub area. I'm looking out onto the beach. The sun will set that direction, so we're pretty much on sunset point as well. So I think we've done very well, yeah. I'm going to put the drone up in a minute, or oh, tomorrow, so we can have a proper look at this. And I think we've got to go and get some food now. It's been a long, long morning. And this is our beach front. Well, we've been sat here having some food and looking over towards Giddy tea and on to Bali and we kept on looking at the cloud formation and thought that looks like a volcano is that a gun well look at it now you can see it there that's an amazing view it looks bigger from here than it does when you're there what an amazing view when you come in to the inner side of Gilly there are obviously uh, not so welcoming sites um, like anywhere in Indonesia you know you've got the glossy you've got the beautiful and then you've got the realistic sort of side of it and remember we're still getting over Covid really are you know so people are struggling you know things that were busy and running are no more just down here on the right hand side is um, a group of bungalows that were being built I remember seeing them being built and well you can see how much it's grown up around you and if you get down here there you are that's it that's where they got to but you can buy the land 400 meters from the beach 120 junta so there if you want to buy some land in Gilear right on the beach here's your opportunity
Well, this is a true beauty of the ghillies. Um, it looks like power's gone down completely on the islands. There's a few lights over there, but I think that's probably from generators. There's a few springing up. But all here seems to have lost power completely. I see some lights down there, but they might be battery lights. Well, the power cut really brought an end to our evening filming-wise anyway. We carried on and we had some food on the beach. And it was great, we had a, we had a really great evening. Unfortunately, because of the power cut, can't see any of it. Anyway, in the next episode, we explore Gilear. We go and hire some bikes and we just chill out and enjoy it. We really hope you'll enjoy us on the next video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. And we will see you in the next video, guys. Look after yourselves. Bye.